So this week, I want to talk a little bit about 3D printed uh, buildings that I found on Amazon. They're produced by a company called Ender Toys. I assume they use Ender printers to 3D print out these uh, buildings. And this is the first one that I picked up. It's called the Humble Hut. And um, to be honest, it's not bad. It cost about $12, um, $11.99, with tax and everything, a little over $12. And, uh, yeah, there's not much that I needed to do to it. Uh, I started out by priming it, what I typically do. I use my gray Vallejo primer and just went over the whole thing. Well, okay, almost the whole thing. I didn't go over the bottom. I just did the uh, roof and around the sides. Made sure I got in all the little nooks and crannies make sure I had full coverage. And then the next part, well, the next part was just painting. Painting was really straightforward. I didn't do anything too fancy. For the roof tiles, I chose a copper color. And I pretty much did the entire um, roof of this hut using this copper color. No dry brushing, no other colors really. Uh, until a little bit later, I went back and these little uh, vents that crop out of the top there. I went back and I colored those the same stonewall gray that I did the sides of the uh, of the hut, which you'll see here in just a minute. Even those little uh, tiles coming down. A brief stop to grab a sandwich and then uh, I'm back at it. So to finish up the painting, um, there's not a lot to do. Uh, I started with the second round of painting by uh, selecting a dark brown, made it stand out a little bit more, I think, from the uh, that dark copper look uh, for the door and the uh, the top part of the door. Door, I don't know what you call that part, but the part above the door and the door itself. Just went with a really dark brown. And then um, for the walls, I used Vallejo's Stonewall Gray. I don't have a lot of paints, honestly. Uh, at least those Vallejo miniature paints, which is what I used for this. And um, I, just, I just picked the one that I had that would be the easiest to use. I may eventually go back. There's an imprint of stonework. And it might look really good to do different earth collars. Uh, for the individual stones. The only problem with that is that the pattern repeats, so it might be pretty obvious. For the base of it, I did this uh, darker gray, sort of like the slab that the hut sets on. I just went back and painted the eaves the same copper color as the tiles. Then for the little torch, uh, yellow for the top of the torch, and then a, uh, a lead collar for the, uh, the base of the torch. Then for the little windows, um, honestly, I could have done these one of two ways, and I went with option number one, which I'm not sure is the best way to go about it. I painted them this brown collar. Um, I think it's called Beastly Brown. So now here we are at the end, and um, I decided to do a little bit of this um, accent work on the lattice work for the windows, and just uh, put some black in each one of the individual slots to make it look like it's dark inside. I think if I were to do it again, I would lay down a layer of black and then go over the lattice work that's above that with the brown. It'd probably go a lot quicker and might even look better. Though to be honest with you, I really did sort of enjoy this process of just doing each individual little um, hole in the lattice. It was pretty relaxing. A little bit of dry brushing at the end here over the lattice work. And, uh, and I was pretty much done. I think it turned out pretty nice. It's very usable, very quick, 
throw it on the table, and it looks just fine, I think. Um, the size is about right, and uh, while it's not a playable interior, you could easily bring out a battle map for the interior of the hut if you needed to. For $12, not a bad deal. That's it for this week. Check down in the comments below for a link on how you can get one of these Ender Toy Humble Huts. And um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And until next week, have fun and keep crafting.